So many of you have said that you want me to uh, to do some more vlogs. I did these vlogs quite a long time ago. Um, by vlog, basically, I mean unprepared video. <laughs> I think that's what it stands for, isn't it? Um, about, about our magic books, and I and I sort of I did a couple. Then I talked about individual ones. Uh, so I kind of do a, a, a similar thing, I suppose, because because so many of you have said you want to sort of have, have a look at the books, and I kind of get that. I mean, when some people have said when they watch the reviews, all they're doing half the time is looking behind my shoulder and trying to sort of have a look what books I've got. So I haven't, and some people have said it's an impressive collection. I, I don't think it is. I, as I've said before, I mistakenly sold some books. I'm so gutted. Again, I'll talk about it for the rest of my life. I sold my Andy Nyman Bulletproof now because I thought I'm never going to be interested in mentalism again, and actually I am now, which is a bit sad, uh, along with some other stuff. So I'll mention a few of these. Again, the usual thing is, uh, and if you're not like this, let me hear from you, but, but I think most of us have a lot of books and we don't read them. I reference them, but when I hear a certain thing, I think I've got that and I'll have a look at it. But, man, I wish I just could could have weeks of just sitting and doing nothing, nothing else, but... Um, but reading these books actually might drive me a bit mental. But uh, I've talked about the magic menu on a, on, a, on another video. I did, did their, their own little video, didn't they? So I talked about that. Um, so I'll go with, with a few of these. Now this, uh, The Faint Contempt of Harry Riser, again, you know, it's it's something that I've... I've opened up every... I was looking at something the other day, I can't remember what it was. But it's such, it's, sorry, it's such a classic. Um, I can't remember what it was. God, this is this is riveting stuff, isn't it? Now, oh, the instant speller trick. That was it. That was quite good. Um, but yeah, you know. But oh, the ball count and box routine. That that had some interest for me. The homing card or uh, uh, Hobson's a whole card. Oh, God, what close up miser? Why haven't I looked at this more often? Every time I do these videos, I go right. I'm going to look look at these more often, and then realise I haven't got enough time. So got it. Um, Martin Gardner presents. This is my friend John Feely. John, if you're watching this, I had the, you. You once said that I had your um, your Martin Gar Gardner Encyclopedia of Prompting Magic, which I've never had, never actually read. But this this is yours. But it's it's nice and safe here. Uh, it, again, the Martin Gardner books are very expensive uh, and great, and it's got some great stuff in there. Um, but it, you know, it, it, I haven't read it a great deal. Uh, going on to Rune's World, Rune Clan, I think, is probably one of my um, one of my favourite magicians to watch. I kind of, I, I, if you've ever been to any of the session, you would have, you, the sessions, you would have seen him. But I think he's um, he's just a joy because he's, he has that same sort of value, sort of sen sensibility and values of, of a lot of us that, that go for the entertainment and the magic, the mix of the sort of high skill level, um, and the and the, and the making sure it's entertaining and funny. But he's a bit he's a bit of a Mac King, and I don't mean that in a in, in a way that he's like Mac King because he's very original. And he, I mean he's got his own TV shows and everything. But I, but I kind of put him in that same that same level. So Rune Clan, Rune's World's great, and it's written like a, a sort of comic book. Um, and his you know his coin stuff is amazing, very very challenging, but very good. Gary Kurtz, I mean come on, you know nothing to be said about that other than that's just amazing. Gary Kurtz's stuff is incredible. If you haven't got that book, uh, go for it. Roger Clausen concert. I think I mentioned that before because it was on another shelf and I've moved things around. Um, this this um, Magic of John Allen is a good book, actually, if you want sort of commercial stuff. But I can't say much about these because I haven't read loads of them. But I suppose what I want to get on to uh, is these Darwin Ortiz books. Uh, Card Shark at the Card Table, Scans and Fantasies, uh, and Lessons in Card Mastery. Now, the, the these, I think... For me, if you're a car magician, are the best books you can get, with, with, without a doubt. Just just for commercial kind of uh, value, meaning that the tricks are all that they're challenging. You know, they're for card, uh, arguably card experts, I'd say, uh, but people in, you know that are willing to put the work in. But he has a very very good eye for. Um, stuff that will work for lay people and, and I just want to talk about actually talking about Darwin Ortiz I don't think, I don't think I've talked about this before I might have um, there was a big criticism with him uh, with oh god I hope I, I've got a feeling I did this on, <laughs> on another vlog exactly the same dumb does it a uh, big criticism of, of you know he, he talks about all this stuff and he's written strong magic that's what I talked about and, he, and, and he's, he, he has he's very good at teaching but some people say that when he's out of that when you see him um, out of a teaching situation, you actually see him performing that he's a bit all over the place and doesn't seem to practice what he preaches. Now, I, I kind of have heard other stories, whereas if you see him for lay people, it's a totally different thing. Um, 
and, and actually, I think you can teach and not do, even though he, I think he can do. But I think we've got to give people a little bit of a break when we judge their performances at Magic Conventions and in front of magicians. Because I think something very different happens with a performance. I think you've got that thing in your head that you know, and even though he's someone that's been doing conventions for years, it's just a very different beast. You cannot perform in the same way. You can say the same lines, you can go through the same thing, but I think it's just... It's, it's a very hard thing to judge. I think you can only really judge someone as a performer if you see them in front of an audience of mostly lay people, I think. Um, but, you know, you could argue against that if you like. Um, but definitely, if you, if you haven't read the, the Autist books and you're into your cards, you really have to have them. They're, they're up there with, you know, for me, Royal Ro you know, all that everybody says, but these are the ones that will just give you such a firm foundation. Um, and, and I think some of them are out of print now. So, and, and the bird glass effect—that is a—that's another one that is of good condition, isn't it? Probably because it's barely been opened. Uh, but a beautiful book, and uh, that—that's another argument, isn't it? Does the bird glass effect exist? Is it, or is it, you know? And and I think that kind of answers that question. Yes, it does. But it's not maybe what you thought when you've seen that, you know, the really famous clip of. Um, was it Mark Paul doing a similar thing where it's any card at any number and it's just so clean? But I think, you know, we, we know that there are various outcomes of that and that kind of goes into it all and it's basically mainly about improvisation and, and how you can sort of relax and go with whatever's said, etc. So incredibly um, useful skill to have. And I think, uh, and I have, you know, I have opened it. When I got it, I did read a fair bit of it and I, I found it really useful and, and a very good book. So... Uh, there you go. Um, I hope that that is what some of you wanted. A bit rambly. It's always going to be, isn't it? Because I haven't really got time to um, plan these things. What with the reviews and stuff. But, um, e yeah, comment. Uh, request, you know, if you want me to talk about anything. Not that I'm an expert on everything, but I think it's always nice to have other people's opinions. So if you want to ask any questions, please do. Uh, and I'll do what I can to answer them. Um, go and check out Card Magic Course. That'd be lovely. Please like and subscribe. And uh, have a great one. Cheers.